So the Cowboys hire Brian Schottenheimer. Let's go. All right, guys, the question of the day, and I want to answer this question, guys, in a very, very calculated way. Do the Cowboys feel guilty? The Cowboys hire Brian Schottenheimer. Brian Schottenheimer is the son of the late, the great Marty Schottenheimer, who was an NFL coach for the Browns, for the Chargers, um, probably most historically for the Chiefs, um, died last year with Alzheimer's disease. So he is a descendant of an NFL coach. What is the Cowboys thoughts and philosophy? And I got some particular insights about Brian Schottenheimer that I wanna get into, uh, but a few of them that I think are unique will come at the end. So let's recap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's recap. So the Cowboys insert Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator. Kellen Moore has a historic year, historic numbers, um, you know, with the Dallas Cowboys offense. And at the end of the day, the only criticisms that you really can give about the offense are two really, really key things. A is this. We didn't win big games. So anytime we played against a tough, a physical defense, we came up short. So if you think about, and you might want to give a pass on this game, but the first game of last year's season, which was against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we lost that game. Tough, physical, aggressive defense. We played against the Chiefs later in the year. We lost that game. Again, aggressive style, tough, physical defense, getting your face type defense. And so we had the historic, I believe, with the reaction from the fan base, first round exit versus San Francisco. Another tough, physical, determined in your face type defense. So it's not the issue about the stats and the numbers that the offense can produce based on the weapons that we did have. And I'll get into that in a second. It is the inability to play physical and to make adjustments when that team tries to force and control where you throw the football, which is the case in what happened to the Cowboys in key games, which in my opinion is why we lost a lot of key games because the defense would show coverage to Amari Cooper when he was on the roster. They would show coverage or double team to CD Lamb. And what do we do? We take underneath passes. So we were not effective enough offensively to scheme to beat what the defense showed us and also to force and impose our will when we needed to really impose our will in games and, and say this quite essentially I don't care what you do I don't care who you roll over here I have a strategy to motion to shift I have a route adjustment to get my number one guy the football so those things are key things as to the demise, offensively that is, of the Cowboys in terms of their offense and in terms of what happened last year. And so the Cowboys insert Marty Schottenheimer, all right? And so, excuse me, Brian Schottenheimer, excuse me. He was the passing game coordinator for the Jacksonville Jaguars, okay? And, you know, previous to that, he coached as an offensive coordinator with the Jets, right? He had other stints in the league. And the release and the narrative of why they hired him, that he would be a unique role, unique. He would have a consultant type role between the offense and the defensive coordinators, all right? And, and Dan Quinn and to help Kellen Moore in terms of game prep in terms of game prep. Well, here's the deal. Our defense went from almost last in the league to pretty much a top 10 defense. So does Dan Quinn really need help in game prep? 
he was a former head coach, former defensive coordinator, years of experience in the NFL. Does he really need help in game prep? No, 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 <laughs> no. He does not need help game prepping. He does not need help seeing the opponent and knowing what he should do versus an opponent defensively. He doesn't need help. He doesn't need help. So, now, here's the other question. Does Kellen Moore need help? Does he need help? Well, hmm. The evidence suggests that he may need help. He may need another set of eyes. Another set of eyes to help him dissect and decipher and create schemes. There's a difference between schemes and plays. You can call a play, it's ideal scenario, it's perfect world, it's whiteboard. But when you have a scheme, that means that this, it means I have a strategy. I have a particular strategy that will work versus what I'm going to see. So my scheme will be different from team to team. My scheme will always be different team to team because every team brings something unique to the table that I need to account for that I may not have had to account for when I faced another opponent. So, do the Cowboys feel guilty? I think so. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Cowboys are quietly admitting that perhaps their offensive coordinator needs another set of eyes. They are they are admitting that perhaps what happened last year in terms of key moments and why we lost games is perhaps due to the fact that something is missing in our coaching staff in terms of perspective and, and in preparation. The Cowboys feel guilty. So the Cowboys insert a gap stop, a backup plan, a wingman to help. In my opinion, not the defense, man, not the defense. It's the offense. It's the perspective, the intelligence, and the IQ. They're bringing in a more experienced offensive coordinator, a guy that's had more game experience, that's ran through more schemes, that's seen more scenarios, and that has more overall a greater knowledge base in terms of offenses and defenses in the NFL. That's what the Cowboys are doing. The Cowboys feel guilty. Now, could the Cowboys have gotten a higher level coach? Yeah, they could have, but they don't want to threaten and just be completely obvious that uh, we could, we could, if this doesn't go well, if this not looking good, we could go another direction during the season. We could demote Kellen Moore. So now Kellen Moore, if he's a smart man, he's, he's looking over his shoulder because he knows this guy has more experience than him. This guy has been an offensive coordinator for several teams. Kellen Moore is not, not silly. Kellen Moore has to perform. Kellen Moore has to make the right decisions with whoever else comes into the building. Whoever else, in my opinion, that will be drafted. I think the Cowboys probably definitely the first two picks go receiver now based upon everything that's happened thus far in the offseason. Almost 90% is my opinion about that. But Kellen Moore has to look over his shoulder because he understands that if the scheme and the system that he's sold, if it's not productive and it's not netting victories, and in my opinion, key victories, key victories, there's another man in the building who has NFL pedigree, who is a second generation coach in the NFL. So with that being said, the Cowboys didn't come out and admit that they're wrong, but the Cowboys are like that, that spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend that brings you a gift after they stay it out all night. They know they were wrong, they know they were guilty, but they don't admit it, they just try to do something nice to make up for. This is a Cowboys guilt move. This is a makeup move for the Cowboys. The hiring of Brian Schottenheimer. So I'm very interested to see what happens with this whole dynamic in the preseason and in the regular season and how much meddling 
Mr. Schottenheimer has and the impact he has on the game plan and look for different formations and concepts if he has any input and say whatsoever. So if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to content. I'm the OC. Follow Boss Cowboy Sports on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow me, the OC100, on Twitter. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the video. Do the Cowboys really feel guilty? Are the Cowboys coming up now with the plan B? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, let me know how I did in the video. Until next time, see you.